intelligence. We have heard a lot about artificial intelligence in the recent times and now we would like to understand the impact of artificial intelligence on human resource. So we want to understand its uh, impact on an organization and uh, then from the perspective of an employee. So let us understand what intelligence is and what is artificial intelligence. So intelligence is something that is innate to a human being. So we take a lot of decisions around because our brain is capable of making billions of calculations per second in a fraction of a second. But then when we are using some external support to do certain things, we call it artificial intelligence. So that is a broad difference between intelligence and artificial intelligence. Now, what is its impact? That is impact of AI on the organizations. Now, management usually deals with a lot of behavioral issues. We need to manage humans. We need to motivate them. We need to optimize their output. So the use of AI will help in making the repetitive jobs more productive. So repetitive jobs can be given to the machines and they can take the decisions and that can be completed. But for the other jobs, probably we can have more of humans allowed. Now, if manpower is scarce, in that case, use of more AI is better for the organization. If manpower is abundant and uh, more AI is used, in that case, probably there will be employee turnover on the higher side and we'll see a lot of unemployment in the labor market. Now, let us understand the advantages for an organization if they want to use AI in their organization. So the repetitive work will be taken over by AI, so I can reduce the manpower over there. Now, it is easy to manage the machines, then the human workforce. Uh, HR functions, all the HR functions, we can use AI and they can be micromanaged and real-time reports will be generated. So there are some advantages. Now let us understand the disadvantages of AI. Now the human touch is lost somewhere when we start using more of AI in our organizations. Uh, the machines will do what they are directed to. Hence uh, there is a possibility that some kind of error will lead to a lot of issues in the organization. To in case uh, as a supervisor or as the head of the organization, I have some biasness. I have some kind of a different thought process. I can program the machines in the same manner and hence that will go unnoticed because machines are simply following the orders. Now it involves a lot of expenses also if we look from the AI angle and as we understand machine learning is there we need to update it on a regular basis and a lot of learning and unlearning has to take place. Coming to the AI on the workforce, impact of AI on the workforce we discover that there are three ways in which AI can impact the workforce. One, uh, maybe we have to take direction from the machines. That is, machine is my boss. Two, it can be like probably I'm sharing directions with the machines. That is, machine is a co-worker. And the third can be that I'm giving directions to the machine. So I have or I am a boss to a machine. So there are three different perspectives I can have as a employee or as a part of the workforce. Now what are the advantages for the human workforce? So like we move from typewriters to computers, AI would increase our efficiency in doing our current jobs. Uh, we will become more objective in our approach. A lot of repetitive and boring jobs can be passed on to the AI. Uh, disadvantages can be that uh, the human element would be diminishing uh, on a regular basis then the job opportunities are likely to be reduced. Uh, machines can work a lot. So what happens is that there can be some wear and tear in the machines, we can change the parts. What happens to humans? So we would be, or humans will be expected to perform equivalently to the machines. The wear and tear of the machines can be rectified by change of parts, but what about humans? So health is likely to take a setback and uh, the issues can be there. Again, since uh, the times will be changing and we will be managing the machines, so probably we need to update ourselves on a regular basis as far as the machine learning is concerned. Now, the biggest question which everybody is talking about, will AI take over humans? Well, nobody knows. Maybe, may not be. A lot of things have been said in the past that computers will do this, computers will take all your jobs. But then uh, 
It has taken some jobs, but it's created a lot of jobs as well. So the biggest question is how much AI is optimum for my organization? This can vary from one place to another. Probably AI is likely to give us uh, more opportunities which uh, we have not thought of as of now. And uh, we expect it to be a boon like, all, like computers we had in the past. Well, thank you, happy learning.